Well, that was cool. You killed your best friend. How do you feel? She fell down before my eyes. And then... I walked away like a boss. Doctor... Spare me for you for having such a sense. We both respect the archetypical, archetypical symptoms of a human infected with Charon virus and passed away. I. Once the virus is inside the human body. Shuts down the respiratory system in a matter of um, minutes. Simply speaking, it causes an overreaction to the immune system, which leads to widespread apoptosis in the lungs. <laughs> human who comes into contact with you. Finally. DIE! I hope no one had their headphones on for that. <laughs> Rip headphone users. That's what you get for having headphones. You see? <laughs> Liar! <laughs> Bolly and I were together since we were children. Of course! I only administered the live bounce to you yesterday. Oh, it's been a long way. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, I'm reading my lines here. <laughs> All of the things I've done to you over the past year have been in preparation for it. Oh, I've been giving you the stomach flus. That's the That's line called of your grooming, stomach you I've been stealing for years. Do you recognize this? <coughs> Jonathan Crane's head? You sick bastard, how many people are you killing? Uh, oh, three or four. <laughs> yes, alas, the body is no use for the spot. I shall tell you about Labour Nine. You call the scarecrow. Deal with the labor model new humans <laughs> developed by Delft Party researchers, but denounced as. Oh, what's that called? Oh. <laughs> we burned the branch quickly. <laughs> But half the jiggle capabilities are still far behind those of the human race. <laughs> Gesundheit. tight. These new creatures were. livestock. If you will. <laughs> to compensate for that. The labour series was a great step towards the beautiful idea of, co the ideal of coexistence with. humans. With a human's head mounted inside an artificial body. <laughs> Immature and capable of difficult tasks. <laughs> <laughs> of course, they were never they never entered the veterinary. <laughs> the project having been shut down early due to ethical complaints. However, I carried on to the Dove Party research as well and created this prototype to be my sidekick. I didn't want too many other people snooping around and disrupting your investigation. So I headed the patrol to bear with me. 
controller. Pew! <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Next question. What is inside this bag? Oh, oh did you like to know where I was going with? Like I said, Jonathan Crane's head. No, a head of lettuce. No, no, no. Close. But you have to be a bit more specific. I believe we have Miss Bull's head since your classroom, but notice anything <laughs> missing <laughs> missing I know it was hard to miss but she did in fact have a brain before she died <laughs> when I found her in the box I was too shocked to be looking for clues may well have missed something Wait. It doesn't mean. All his brain. She actually had one. My God. Correct. And you do catch on quickly. Miss hmm. Bowles did come to meet you quite frequently. Of course, having been placed in Labour 9, she's lost much of her personality. <laughs> then she's... I was gonna say dead as a joke, but okay. Alive. But her body is gone. All that's left is a brain. Well, I mean, that's fine. Like, the rest of your body's sort of waste, really. Well... Yeah, just, just put it in a glass jar, stuff it in a robo-brain. Yeah. What has she got to lose, a jar? Can we still call that alive? Alive or not alive, I don't know anymore. Can you save her? That's a difficult question. Change of thing could be a very definite point between life and death. But really, it's quite vague. The personality. The personality still remains in this world until up a few, until a few minutes ago. I. <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah, you know, games can be updated in the modern era, right? <laughs> How hard is it to patch out a few typos, guys? Come on. These are getting more and more frequent. What? You gave poor Labour 9 quite a shock, shall we say. Alash. Miss Boy's brain is no doubt irreversibly damaged. <laughs> One days of modern medicine can do nothing for her now. Mm. But she'll her is, there, is there a domestic going on in the background? What's happening? Hang on, hang on. Can you just like go kill your family real quick so there's no noise? <laughs> Let, let's hope things get better now. <laughs> yes, yes, my body. What you do in her mind? You are far more twisted villain than I could have hoped to be, Miss Kuala. I killed Polly. If someone gave me a button and said press this and then I pressed it and then they were and then like they revealed that it like blew up a power plant or something. 
and then they called me a villain for it, I'd be like, well... I feel like being a villain requires some kind of intentionality, really. At the very least, the knowledge of what you're doing. Yeah, that, at best, it's manslaughter. It was my fault all along. Why did it have to happen this way? I had a whole plan for it. I mean... It was all arranged for you. I had no benign. Sucky, sucky. You did much to help you along the investigation. I don't think that is a thing that she would say. Um. Uh, yes it is. You're all but one step from the end now. One more thing. <coughs> what was it in you? And Miss Bulls told me. Long ago. Come. <laughs> Follow me. If you want to leave. Oh, just to get fucked, but I don't see how that's relevant. Yo, you can't, you can't have sex with a human, that's bestiality. What would the neighbors He holds out his wing. What lies beyond here? Bolly is gone. The one who killed her was here from the beginning. I have nothing more to lose. Except your life, your mom. Your mom is still alive in this route. What actually? I, I'm actually kind of curious about that. Well, when it comes to, like, what caused his mom to die then? She just gets sick real easy. But I think it's like genetic or something. But what difference did Bolly hanging out with Ryota make on that one? It made no difference regarding his mom. That was just the only route that we actually found out she died. Oh, so she's still dead, we just don't know about it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you said she doesn't die, that's rude. Why are you lying? <laughs> Mariota doesn't know. You are she's not dead yet. Yeah, this is like halfway through the year. Oh, okay. Okay, so it hasn't happened yet. Yeah. Wait, Texas fungus melodious. What's going on, mate? Demon spores are the thickest that way. You never come back. He thick, boy. Man, them's gonna cut off your nads and have them for dinner. That's right. The doctor's probably going to do something unspeakably horrible to you, Cora. Come back. What has he got to lose? His upset stomach. Oh dear. This looks bad. This suppose it's poison gas. Your mum's poison gas is present, Mystic Phantom, the avatar of my asthma. I didn't know I had asthma. You do take everything in stride, don't you, Higure? 